Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain you how to use logic analyzer to check the output of sine wave. So this is a program to generate the sine wave. So we'll save this program, then translate, build and rebuild. In my previous videos, I have already explained you how to create the project in Kili environment. So I request you to go through those videos. Now next, click on start and stop debug session. Click OK. Now this is debug environment. In the debug environment, we have one option here, analysis window. So click on it. Then we have a logic analyzer, select it. So this is our logic analyzer. In the logic analyzer, we have a setup option. Click it. In the setup, you can see there is option available. There is, this is in new or insert and this is delete. So we'll, we'll click on new or insert and then we'll type the port name that is P1. The same port we have used in the program. Then we have this hexadecimal display option. Check it and then we'll close it. Then to see the sine wave output, we have a run option here. So we'll click it. So you can see this sine wave output in the logic analyzer. In the setup, you can change the color of the waveform. So right now it's a green. So we can select red. So you can see the color of the waveform is change. Then we have one more option here that is peripherals. So we can click on peripheral and IO ports, select the IO port. In the IO port, we have port P1. So you can see in the program, we are sending those values on the port P1. So I hope you have understood how to use logic analyzer to check the analog waveforms like sine, triangular, Thank you for watching this.